Okay, next we are going to look at how to apply a different class or different types of, of CSS classes to our existing page. Once again, I am in our starter page. Now, I have an, applied some HTML tags and their attributes to different parts. This is an H1 tag up here. This is an H4 tag over there in terms of the tagline. Now, I could have gone in and defined my H1 as being this color, this font, this size, this font weight, and I could have even applied a centering piece right there and said that my H1 would always be centered. I could have done the same thing for my H4, but perhaps I don't always want those H1s to be centered. Perhaps I don't always want those H4s to be centered. Or perhaps there are just multiple times that I want things centered regardless of which HTML a tag is associated with it. So in our CSS styles rules, I have a series of other pieces that are built in here. Notice the difference between an HTML1 tag, excuse me, an HTML tag, is just that it's simply listed here, label, form, caption, etc. Those are HTML standard tags. Notice that I have a series of classes. Classes are basically anything I want them to be. Notice that they are starting with a period here, and they are things that all one word pieces, but they describe basically what they do. So here's my text center, text right, text left. Now the default of all text is text left anyway. So that's kind of a, uh, an extra tag just to have around just in case I need it, but I don't ne necessarily need to use it uh, frequently. So I'm going to come up here, and perhaps I want to apply this center piece, or even maybe the text right piece, to this particular tag. Now again, I don't have to have this sitting in a tag. I could just simply highlight content and apply a class just like before I highlighted content and applied a, an HTML tag. This time though I'm going to have this H1 tag, this piece up here, it is sitting in an H1 tag already, but now I want to apply a class. I'm going to go ahead and click on my class option here and I'm going to choose the text center. Now notice that it actually visually highlights what the result of that is. So here's my bold class, here's my italic class, here's my text center, justify left and text right area. So I'm going to go ahead and click on text right and notice that it immediately pops over to the right. Now the reason that is is not because the HTML1 tag says text right, but rather because I applied a class that said go to the right. Now the beauty of a class is that it can apply to multiple things. So here this is an H1 tag up here, but I can apply that same tag to my little tagline, which is an H4. So I'm going to come over here and once again I'm going to choose text right. And even particularly here, this navigation area, currently the default is to be sitting in an in a paragraph tag under the HTML area, that's normal, but now I can apply the text right piece to it as well. So I can go ahead and apply these tags any way I want. Now, in terms of this particular piece, previously we'd gone in and manipulated the H1 and the H4, etc., but in this case I've already got a centering, a text center piece here, there's not a lot of point in my going in and adding color and other pieces. I could, but there's not a lot of point in my doing it because I've already defined that up here in my regular HTML tags. However, as a point of information, if I had, or if I do go in and say apply a whole different font and color to this particular class, this attribute, the attributes associated with this text center would take over and override 
the attributes that I had previously set in the style sheet so that I could give more attributes here but if they are in conflict if for example I chose a red color here as opposed to a green color earlier the last one in the list or the one that's further down the list would take precedence in that case that's this one the text center so I'm going to come back here in a few minutes and show you how to create your own class and apply them all from the get-go see you in a minute